and someone on the same network read your password. Watch this and I'll prove it. I'm a cybersecurity professional and I'm here to reduce your attack surface. Please kindly follow, kindly subscribe. Just hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button. Let's dive right into it. Right, so quick legal notes. This demo runs only on a test site in a controlled lab. Never do this on other people's networks. That's illegal. This is awareness, not how to for wrongdoing. I'm on a lab network with Kali and Wireshark. I will use Ethernet and the purposely vulnerable test site. All right, so let's dive right into it. Now, after logging on, let's open our applications and search for Wireshark. Hit Wireshark, allow it to populate for a few seconds. Thereafter, let's select Ethernet 1. In your own case, it could be WLAN 0 or the relevant interface in monitor promiscuous mode. Next, let's search for testphp.vonweb.com. Hit enter. And let's click on sign up. And for the username, I'll use Sekura247. And for the password, I'll use MITM. Uh, just in case you don't know what MITM stands for, it stands for man in the middle. And uh, man in the middle attacks, just similar to what we this demonstration is somehow pertinent to man in the middle attacks. So let's hit login. And let's head back to our Wireshark. Let's stop capturing the network traffic. And let's filter what we captured by HTTP. Uh, thereafter, let's look for post packets labeled HTML form URL encoded. Uh, 610. Yep, yeah, that's it. Let's open it up. And as we can see, boom, that's our username and password in plain text. All right, in plain text. Um, so the good thing is to note that most real sites uses HTTPS. You know, you know the S there actually seals the message. It's if you see a padlock and HTTPS, uh, the password isn't readable um, or isn't being transferred or transmitted in plain text. It's also worthy to note that a site having HTTPS doesn't mean that it's legitimate. Some attackers often trick you with fake login pages, rogue Wi-Fi hotspots, or even through social engineering. Quick protections, check the padlock, use a VPN on public Wi-Fi, turn on two-factor authentication, use unique passwords with a manager, and don't auto-join on known networks. If this surprised you, kindly smash the follow for more quick cyber fixes. Kindly subscribe. If you want a one-page cheat sheet on staying safe on public Wi-Fi, Comment, cheat, and I'll DM it. See you on the next one. Cheers.